What is up, everybody? I am the Mangoose. You are awesome, and I'm coming to you today with some more Project Stamina coverage. Project Stamina is the company currently attempting to bring back the game Gigantic with their own IP. Specifically, I wanted to talk about their latest development livestream that featured gameplay. Their own hero, Matani, on their own map designed to resemble Gigantic's canyon map. This is, of course, pre-alpha gameplay. Most of the animations aren't here, and there are only base effects for the abilities, but it's here. Functioning multiplayer gameplay. This isn't the first one that we've seen from them. They have showcased some rudimentary gameplay before with like placeholder stick figures and some par other Paragon assets. But this really shows how far they've come since that time with their own character models in a much better looking environment. The gameplay wasn't the only exciting news from them. They posted a question submission form on their Discord, which I took full advantage of and asked something that I know is near and dear to many of your hearts. Will they have controller support? And the answer is yes. They've already been working on it and some of the functionality has already been implemented and tested. So, while like most of these other companies, they intend to release the game on PC first, that release will include the ability for people to use their controllers, making everything feel just a little more like home. Speaking of making things feel like home, they were also happy to announce that they've been using their Patreon money for a collaboration with Skew Sound, the same sound designer that worked on Gigantic. Now, I never played Gigantic myself, so I couldn't give two shits about who they have for sound design, but it seemed to make the fans happy, so I'm all for it. Something I was hyped for, though, is that they've also picked up Tricolor for voice lines, the same cat that did such great work for Ethereal. And then we have the big question, will it be on console? Now, they really didn't cover this much during the stream, but it is a question that they've answered for me before. They will bring the game to console if there is a large enough community in place for that system. That could be PlayStation, Xbox, or even Stadia. The answer I was given during my last video on this project was that switching the game from one console to the other was as simple as using a drop-down menu in the Unreal Engine. Now, that answer didn't quite sit well with me. I know there's a lot more that goes into porting a game to console than checking a box, so I followed up on that. What I found is that they've been doing the work to make the game easy to port over, and that drop down thing is just a culmination of that effort. So they have been doing the work and making it ready for console. Those were probably the biggest takeaways from the stream, but there was a lot of other information released as well. They plan to have six playable characters in the alpha, they want esports to occur naturally instead of being forced, and many, many other questions from gameplay to programming to developing were answered. If you're interested in this game, I highly encourage you to check out the video on their YouTube channel. I'll have it linked at the end. While I never played Gigantic, Project Stamina has me incredibly hyped for their game. I'm going to continue to track this company and let you guys know what's going on. For now, this is the Mangoose signing off. You guys have a good one. Mangoose!